he more of a style on you type. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't. Saigon always been like a, a rumble type of battle, like a rapper. Like, but I, I ain't never seen. I fucks with Vado. Like his song, I bang Vado in my playlist. Like, but I don't see him battling. So that's why I kind of do want to see him to see what he's going to do, how he's going to try to switch his style up to make it as, as coming at somebody. Is he going to be aggressive or is he going to hit him with the smooth Harlem shit? Like, you know what I'm saying? Who you who you think going to win on that drink? I ain't going to lie to you. I think Vado going to win. Yeah. I love Saigon, though. Me too. I like Saigon. I love Saigon, but I just think he underestimated him. I think I think it's a good look for Saigon because a lot of niggas forgot that Saigon actually had bars. I think that's going to be a good look for Saigon. Because Vado's still active. Vado moving around. He already got the notoriety. I think uh, when Saigon went to jail, he lost a lot of a lot of his fans and shit. A lot of people forgot about him. So this going to be a, a good coming out for Saigon. That motherfucker, that motherfucker Vado slick. He slick with it. Yeah. Hell with Bishop. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the hell going on with this thing. They won't let me add this fool. Kyle, what up? I see you in there, boy. I see you doing your shit, too, man. Salute, man. You've been you've been even washing niggas, dog. He underrated, man. Kyle Kyle underrated, bro. Kyle? Yeah, he underrated. Kyle Kyle's underrated. Why you why you think that why you think that is, man? I don't know. I I, I don't understand that. I think um I think maybe because a lot, from Detroit? a lot of fans started hating on him when he when he bullied Pat Stay like that. I liked it. I, I fucked with it, you know what I'm saying. But a lot of a lot of I think that shit might have been too much, so it got niggas scared. But as far as bars and shit, bro, like Kyle's a monster in this shit. You know what I mean? Kyle's a monster in this shit. He got to be top three, right? If you, I don't. Know. Our boys up early, man. What up? Top three? Are you top three or what? I'm the best, Royce. <laughs> As you should. They don't As like nobody. Should. They don't like nobody being confident in themselves. Though. You listen, man. The motherfucker couldn't tell <laughs> anything less. Fuck. Hey, Eddie Morris and Miles was the first battle I ever been to, bro. Salute. Real? Like real shit. Real like I literally just followed Eddie like two days ago. If you seen it, <laughs> where was it? Where, where, where was this at? I, I think the Michigan. Think the Michigan building. Mm. If I'm not mistaken, I was 14. I got a freestyle. I, I know we was in Detroit. We was in the hood. I, I got a freestyle like, floating around when I was 14 years old. I'm young as hell. I look like my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody knows where that freestyle came from. I snuck inside the building. My pops got me in there, and I saw him and Miles perform. And I freestyled on somebody's camera when, when when it was over with. And I was at they that was my first battle I ever been to, bro. The niggas was talking crazy, bro. That was crazy. I was 14 years old comprehending all that shit. That was a crazy that was a crazy battle. That was a crazy battle. Look, you gotta understand, I come from Philly. I, it was just me, Star, and my other homie that's that's uh that was with Star. It's this us three. Yep. Coming to Detroit in the trenches. The in the trenches, bro. Was talking. Crazy. Talking crazy to niggas, bro. <laughs> With that Philly Star style. Eddie we shit. looking at Eddie like, bro. <laughs> but look, <laughs> look bro. fuck with me after that, bro. Like, after that, I actually, uh, Bizarre had actually was like, no, man, we're going to stay. We're going to jump in the studio. We're going to do some shit. Yep. And I went down to... Uh, to, I, I stayed up there. I was fucking with Bo you know Bossy. I know you know Bossy, uh, Royce. Bossy, yeah, the bodyguard. That's my nigga. Oh yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Father, yeah. all yeah. of them niggas, bro. Like we was like niggas show love, man. Proof. That was really hey, Cal, like, Cal, like when you, hey Cal, when you pick, uh, when you picking the people that you're gonna battle, do you do you think to yourself are you trying to challenge yourself or are you like um picking and choosing pick based them, off? I don't of, pick them no more. I don't pick them no more. I swear. But I do feel like on my come up, I feel like a lot of people um, go wrong with the choice battles that they take. Like sometimes it's really not about um, how good you are. It's about your decision making. Is you going to go battle newborn or is you going to figure out a way to get looks? 
Or is you going to figure out a way to get MOOC? Or is you going to figure out a way to get math? Or You know what I'm saying? Not right now, but at my time where I was coming up. You know what I'm saying? Right. If niggas really pay attention, MOOC my man. But I was on a hunt for his ass my whole career. I was mm. on some shit. Like, I don't care who I'm battling. Where MOOC at? Mm. Want the best. You know what I'm saying? Because that's, the, cause like, that's the money fight, basically. Hell yeah, you got to pick them. You got to make the fights worth it. So if you is in this shit, like I was but battling the, for cheap as hell. Was it more so the challenge of, of it being moot? Was it the money or was it more so the challenge? No, I was taking I was taking pennies to battle the right people. Yeah. It yeah. ain't matter. Like I was telling the niggas, give me, <clears throat> give me 8,000 to battle John John the Don on Summer Madness. And then they called with Lux. I'm like, all right, give me five. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it was like, it was like more of a decision. Well, when I battled Lux, yeah, I think Lux probably was getting some dumbass money. I'm like, give me five thousand. Come on, let's do it. Four thousand. You think it'll be? You think it? You think it'll be smart for Mook to battle to to battle Ars right now? Um, Mook to battle Ars. <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie, that's a crazy battle. Yeah, that's a crazy battle. I don't think Mook the niggas on their A game. That would be a fucking classic joke. You know what I think about Mook, though? I think Mook don't want to deal with Arsenal, like, antics right now. You know, Ars is like a, Ars is like a person, if you give, if you get at, if you get that moment to, he unpredictable. You don't know. You don't know what he would, you don't know what's going on with him. But that's the like, part of it, though, bro. You got to take yeah, it. it is. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's a better come up for ours than me, bro. And add move, because I got to... Because if you the champ, bro, fuck what they do. I'm, <laughs> yeah. nigga, I'm that nigga. I don't give a yeah. fuck if you want to bring your mom flying in on a bungee cord, nigga. I'm going to trash you. Whatever you do, yeah. do that shit. It ain't no... It ain't no... Oh well, I don't like how this nigga is. Or as long as y'all like like y'all niggas talk behind the scenes beforehand, so it ain't no fucking goofy, fake ass, extra dumb shit. And yeah. then y'all go out there and don't matter. After that, it don't matter. You got hey, that. Hey, Mook, you I don't know the first relationship with Mook. Uh, Mook, you still looking to challenge yourself? You gonna have my to phone kill died, me. so I don't even know what happened, bro. This was ever since my you shit gonna have to jump in here and kill one of these new niggas that niggas think you running from, bro. That's the bottom line, bro. You uh, can't, what? You're going to have to jump in here and kill one of these niggas that the fans want you to kill, that the fans want to see. Who the fans I did that, I did that against Tay Rock. What happened? Mm. Yeah, nobody cares after you beat them because, like, I, I right, was right. Yeah, it's going to happen. It's going to happen repeatedly. Like, what's going? So, so Tay Rock is just shitty now. No, Tay Rock. When you and when you beat yo, La Truth, La Truth, the top. Stop nigga. playing with me. Stop playing with me, La Truth. Stop playing with me. Real he shit. Stop playing with me. Stop nigga. Stop playing with me, La Truth. Real shit. Nah, nah, nah. He know. He know not to play with me. You know not to play with me, La Truth. Stop. Stop. Go ahead. My fault, Eddie. What? <laughs> nah, I said nah. I gotta respect that. He was the top nigga at that time when you when you when you beat him like that, bro. Yo, I'm. That's what I'm saying. So what? What am I supposed? What you supposed to do? Every single time it happened? Not every time though. But you do. You got the Floyd Mayweather syndrome. Yo, yo, like like <laughs> fuck rock now. Fuck you know, rock, right? You like, know I'm gonna keep it a bean. You be no, we we know nigga. that. But but what I'm saying is fuck rock. No, we're not saying that. You can't say that. I'm sorry. Fuck that. I know we can't. So why is everybody acting like it's fuck rock? rock? That's a fact, man. Niggas got to respect that, dog. Niggas but gotta why is everybody that. acting like it's fuck rock then? Niggas thought rock. Like, yeah, yeah, you be rock. All right, cool. So what? Now, niggas thought rock was going to wash you. A lot of niggas thought Rock was going to watch Mook, man. Let's keep it a bean. Niggas everybody thought Rock did. was going there. And, and, not everybody, but, you know, dumb niggas. I'm talking about the fans. You know what I'm talking about, the, the fans and shit. Not the niggas who don't really in this shit. But niggas, niggas, the consensus was Rock was going 3-0 you. So, how, hey, so what do we know then? Hey, Mook. What do they know then? Mook. But that's what you got to do, though, bro. You got to get the fans what they want, though, bro. Yo, three Letterman. Three Letterman. You can't even tell me why. Like, tell me. Tell me. Yo, three Letterman. You tell me, son. Who won? What, what you say when you did your recap? Close your ears, Eddie. Who won out of me and Reed three Letterman? <laughs> Mook, you gotta stop doing nah, that. Nah, not today. <laughs> you wanna argue? Not Let today. 
had their opinion, that. bro. Not, no, not, no, 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 no. Not niggas that have a voice in this culture. Oh, okay. That's different. Okay. Hell no. Yeah, that's something different. Hell no. Oh no 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 no! Free Letterman got the uh he got the he got the, the podcast shit right. Come on, don't do that to him. Come on, man. Yeah, tell me what rounds he won. Three Letterman. Mook told that nigga all Zama say. <laughs> he told that nigga all Zama so, say. You we can't do that. Just Eddie up here. So we you must have forgot who the fuck you talking to. Yo, all Zama <laughs> say. <laughs> Yo, real shit. Mook let's, funny let's, let's get after that because I don't want us to go into that. <laughs> Yo, check this out. Nah, niggas just want to see you. Niggas just I like smoke or active, bro. Oh, that nigga, if he don't got my dollars, you could bet on dollar box if he don't got my dollars. Hey, Kyle. <laughs> Jackpot. Hey, These Kyle, back shots to make a Kyle. thermostat pop. They that hot. With red <laughs> flop, I still got old coppers like Matt Lock. <laughs> hey, hey Mook. I love Eddie. And I love, and I love, the, and I love, uh, yo, three letterman. Get I need a motherfucking microphone on this shit. Eddie, we got to get you all. <laughs> I'm out of hey, here. Move. I love you. Yo, Eddie, I'm come up. Here. Call my move. phone. Yo, Eddie, look. I came move. up for you. When you going to pull when you going to pull up to the um up to, up top though? Yo, soon. Like within a couple weeks, man. I mean, yo, I'll... Cal, Cal, Eddie, Cal. For sure. Yeah, they know each other. They one of the people, huh? 100%. This yo, this, yo, this yo. nigga, that's the first battle I ever been to, him and Young Miles. No, it wasn't. What are you talking about? First battle ever. Nigga, you was 14 when I battled the <laughs>